What's going on YouTube, Geosyn right here. Today we have some more updates for the Prism application, which is a customization application for your iOS device, supporting all iOS devices and all iOS versions. So BracoDev, the developer behind it, posted more updates about the development of it. But for those of you who are unaware, it looks like this, the application is currently in development. And besides the fact that it allows you to install your jailbreak apps and emulators and stuff like that directly on the device without a computer, so side loading without a computer, it also contains a customization tab and that's what we're going to focus on today. So Braco posted some interesting news in here. They seem to be very excited about this. They said quote fully customizable and interactive lock screens and passcode faces with Prism. This will actually be crazy if everything goes according to plan. Let's see what they posted here. They said huge Prism news. I may have found a method for full jailbreak level lock screen theme. Before you couldn't hide the real clock unless you set it to a solid color. Additionally you couldn't interact with anything on the lock screen so no buttons. With my new method your lock screen will be 100% tweakable and interactable. Additionally it removes the need for any janky shortcuts and it may allow for tweaking your passcode faces. And according to them here in comments it's not something like Kawabenga where you would have to modify a backup or stuff like that. I have no idea how they are doing this but I would definitely be very very interested to see how this is going and hopefully it does work according to plan. Now Braco also posted this that themes are now on the explore page of Prism. And as you can see, they also have the for your lock screen, which presumably contains lock screen themes without a jailbreak. Now you should know that this application works completely without a jailbreak. There is no exploit behind it. There's nothing jailbreak related behind it other than the functionality that it gives you. So compared to Kawabenga, for example, which did allow you to hide the dock, hide the home bar, theme your icons and your lock screen and stuff like that. This one actually used the mc 30 cow exploit. So that's why it only works on iOS 14 up to 15.7.1 and 16.0 up to 16.1.2. But since Prism doesn't work with an exploit behind it, it should work on iOS 18 as well. It should work on iOS 17 on any devices. The last update we got is this one. Redesign the theming page, import and use multiple themes at once and theme caching. So it looks like this. This is the theming interface as you can see over here. And you can theme the icons on your home screen with custom icons like this. You do it directly from the application. You can import themes that you download, presumably from repos or on the internet. And then you apply them and that's about it. Apparently these themes come in uh, zip format. You download them as a package, import them in the app and you can customize your icons no problem. So yeah definitely very interesting especially the part with jailbreak level lock screen theme. I'm actually quite curious how they're going to pull this off but definitely stay updated by subscribing because I'm going to cover this once it comes out. It's currently in development and there are multiple applications like this in development at the moment especially for side loading and stuff. Well this one is for side loading and all also iOS customization without jailbreak. So yep, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.